What's up, everybody? Big day here at Mr. Postman Print Shop. Got a lot of stuff done. I'm trying out AirPods as a microphone, even though I look like a douchebag. Please excuse that. Um, got a lot done on the project board. Moving stuff forward as best as I can. Although, estimating is looking like a disaster zone over here, so... I still have a lot to do, but I literally worked all weekend on estimates. And over the weekend, I reached a major, major milestone in terms of open invoices. We basically have about three times the amount of open invoices that we normally do. And we're just downright slammed. Right here, the middle school project for one-way window perf has been running all afternoon. I had to wait on an order of perf to get in, which is really cool. Um, they weren't able to have the large extra long rolls for me. So I'm just putting together several different rolls here. What are they? 30 foot rolls rather than the 100 foot roll like I usually like to get. But I got three of the 30 foot rolls and I'm going through it like crazy. This roll is almost done. Almost done. So. You can see what I'm printing here. Cool little mascot for the middle school. I didn't really post this on the vlog, but I was having issues with my brand new Keen Cut cutter. I thought this was Keen Cut made a mistake with their manufacturing. I shared this on a print forum, but I, I didn't list the video publicly on YouTube because I wanted to find out what was going on first. But turns out I'm just an idiot. What's new? I'll show you what was happening. So in order for the Keen Cut Sabre 2 Series to work properly, workbench flatness is absolutely imperative. And I admit, this work table came with my shop. I did not build it. It's made from freshly um, milled lumber. And so um, it's just over time has a lot of bends and warps to it. Look at this wood. I mean, it is all over the place in terms of warpness and depth and nothing about it is consistent at all. And so um, my problem with the cutter was that the blade was literally not able to stay in the groove all the way across. When it got to the middle, it wanted to cut in and I emailed my vendor and I was like, oh my God, I just spent two thousand dollars on this cutter and it doesn't work for me and they reached out to keen cut on my behalf and keen cut let me know it looks like it might be the table i moved it to this table right here and it cuts like an absolute champ so i've only had this printer for i don't know maybe a little over a month now and i've ran into my first two cartridges this went out this morning and this one went out this afternoon. So I got four more that are gonna be on their way. So my plan is to always have them on hand so that I could switch out whenever they go out. But they will be here on Wednesday. One thing with this shop, these windows at the front of the storefront, they let in a ton, a ton of heat. And so I think what we're gonna do, we are going to do one-way perf to cover them completely up, which I know that means people won't be able to see into the store. And so that kind of stinks. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it into an artistic mural. We're, it's gonna be, um, we are, Whiteville, North Carolina is home to the North Carolina Pecan Festival. And yes, uh, ever since I moved here, I have learned to pronounce it the correct way, pecan instead of pecan. Um, we can argue about that, but we are home to the Pecan Festival. And so I think what we're going to do is have someone, uh, some sort of Pecan montage and do some sort of tribute to the city. Um, we like to call ourselves Delightful White Bull. And so I think we're going to do something with that on there because I have my signage that will be above. And I think it's going to be the kind of thing where people are going to want to stop in front of the store and get their picture. My plan is to make it seasonal. And so as a seasonal thing, um, 
I am not going to laminate the perf. I'm just gonna put it up unlaminated. And the, um, when it comes Christmas time, because the Pecan Harvest Festival is in November, when it comes Christmas time, I am going to do a total Christmas theme with our Mr. Postman logo and do it upright. I think it's gonna be fun. And I think it's gonna be the kind of thing where we're just known for, oh, every few months, our storefront completely changes to something totally crazy, totally unique, totally different. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so things are going fantastic at the shop, but Chelsea and I, my graphic designer, we are really struggling to keep up. And um, we're, you know, I kind of include her on all of our business decisions that, that we do. And we're gonna have a fantastic next couple of months. And we're gonna be putting a lot of money away in the bank, which is fantastic and that's great. We, we are looking at making some investments in things like perhaps a laser because I really feel like if we invest in lasers now, then that means that we're gonna be set for the Christmas rush uh, in terms of corporate gifts and that sort of thing. So I think that's gonna be important for us to do. But in the same respect, I wonder if we need to hire another person. Um, I hate having our uh, overhead go way up but man, I kind of want to hire another person. Um, I've been wanting to hire somebody that is a production manager slash project manager. And it would also be great to have somebody else in the shop that's also good with design as well. Um, so uh, I don't know, uh, because Chelsea can do it all. I can do it all. It'd be great to have another person that could do it all, but maybe we can I don't know, we just have a lot to think about in terms of what we can do. And I, we're in a small town, and so it's hard to find talent sometimes. So we're just gonna have to see. But it's a good problem to have, for sure. Uh, I'll tell you what, this is my third roll of 30 foot window fur I have gone through for the one I'm opening today. Really wish. Well. They would have had the 100 for me. But I got a roll of the 100 coming in on Monday. So laminating <clears throat> roll to roll is great whenever you could do it in one long, big roll. And that's what I have going on right here. I've had, this is my third roll that I've had to attach to this. I just did it with masking tape right there just to kind of put the two and two together. Not sure if that's uh, industry standard practice or not. If you guys have any better ideas, let me know. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video right there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna let this stuff outgas tonight. We're gonna laminate it tomorrow. Then we're gonna trim it up on our fantastically working keen cut saber two cutter, which I highly recommend. And when you have an issues with them, they know what to do to tell you to get it working again. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a fantastic uh, evening, morning, lunch. I guess it doesn't, I have no idea what time of the day it is for you. Have a good one, appreciate it. Hey, like, subscribe, appreciate you, bye.